Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Bullfrog Pond Workshop. Today I'm attempting to cut a profile in a sanding drum, which I will then attach to my drum sander and use to radius fretboard for electric guitar building. Let me pull you in closer here and show you how it's supposed to work. Okay, here's how the jig is supposed to work. I've got this base piece clamped to the table, my shopsmith. A couple rails here uh, to guide this back and forth. I've marked, I don't know if you can see on the camera, I've marked my center point of my radius. And I mar also measured out two inches on either side, just so that after the radius is cut in here, I can measure back two inches and find the center again. This uh, little sled for this router, there's a pin here and that's the hinge, uh, the pivot point, and from here to here is exactly 12 inches, so I'm going for a 12 inch radius. Uh, this must be passed from right to left as it goes across there because the router bit is, this side of the bit is going up as this is spinning down. Uh, if I know from experience, don't ask me how, if this side of the router bit, closer to the camera, contacts the wood, if you try to cut with this side, it's going down and the, the board's going, the drum's going down. So you get what's called a climb cut, which uh, I've ruined a few pieces with that uh, uh, in the recent past. But anyway, I'm hoping that the front edge of the bit, which is going up, and this going down will make the standard cut. And I'm hoping that the trailing edge of the bit doesn't cause any problems. Uh, I've waxed this. My router, you can see my router's clamped in this little sled that I've built. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it works. So here goes nothing. Okay, I've got all my protective gear on, and here we go. Seems to be working so far. I haven't got this trailing edge contacting the wood. I'm a little afraid of this. I gotta be, I gotta be honest. Alright, here we go. This is a deeper cut than I had planned on taking. I'm going to adjust this back a little bit and retry off camera. Okay, we're back. Looks okay. I'm going to keep going. Looks all right. I'm gonna adjust, adjust my cut, make a second pass. I'll do that off camera.
Looking good. Looking good. Still looking good. That's looking pretty darn good. I'm going to take one more cut. See how wide my radius is. Three inches. I'm going to do one more very light cut. Looks pretty smooth to me. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. I'm about three and a quarter wide, which is plenty wider than. Uh, I'll take one more. One more cut. About three and a half. It looks like a pretty good radius. I can't be sure. Looks like this side is not quite as round as this side and that may be some geometry thing here with the trailing edge or something. I'm not sure. Three and three eighths. I think that's plenty wide. I think that'll do. All right, let's take a look and see how well this came in here. I'll try to keep my hands out of the way so you can see. That looks pretty darn good. I drew this 12 inch radius on the computer. Looks pretty darn good. Well, the profile cut seems to have been a success. Won't know for sure until I glue the sandpaper on there and run a piece through. Uh, stay tuned for that video coming soon. As for now, the Bullfrog Pond Workshop is a solar oven. It is probably 110 degrees in here right now. So I'm going into the air conditioning. Stay cool everyone and thanks for watching.